Um, Minister, I've been going through the list of um, entities or groups of entities uh, that workers can possibly turn to, and so far we haven't found one that they can turn to. What about government? Can workers rely on government? Is that a general, as a general proposition? Yeah, or? I'm looking for people that can support workers. Well, Senator Roberts, you'd have a lot more credibility on this if you had ever voted with the government for any of the changes we've made to protect workers. We, we, pa we passed some legislation recently. It was in the name of the bill. It was called the Secure Jobs Better Pay Bill. Have a guess what it was about. Secure jobs and better pay. Have a guess how you voted. You voted no. We give you opportunities to vote for workers. So we are between protecting workers and you keep voting against it. You keep voting with the coalition. Did you know, Minister, that miners tell me in their research in the Hunter Valley and Central Queensland wage theft that when Mr Bill Shorten was Workplace Relations Minister in Julia Gillard's government, <laughs> he made the key step that unlocked and enabled the abuse of casual workers. Did you know that? I did not know that okay. some mining workers somewhere said that about Bill Shorten when he was a minister more than 10 years ago. No, I did not know that. Despite the Black Coal Mining Industry Award not allowing casual coal mine workers on production, Mr Shorten apparently changed the coal long service leave regulations to allow casual coal miners to receive long service leave accruals. Were you aware of that? No, I wasn't in the parliament. That opened the door for the CFMEU and labour hire companies to fabricate the permanent casual rort. And that's why five years ago, when I started holding Coal LSL, the Fair Work Commission and Fair Work uh, Ombudsman accountable, do you understand now why I started with the Coal LSL agency? Well, I, I'm sure there would be different views on that. that that's obviously your view. Um, it's a view you've pursued relentlessly in estimates committees over many Thank years. Thank you. Thank um, you for the compliment. And, and the government has done a lot of work in the meantime to assist coal mining workers, uh, unfortunately, all of which you voted against. Minister, as a result of my work, mine workers watched as the LNP, in my opinion, avoided the core of the issue, but it did do a review of the coal long service leave provisions that may one day lead to improved governance within the coal LSL. Are you aware of what the LNP did there? No. Mine workers continued watching in recent years as your government in the last two years under Minister Burke did its best to cover up the permanent casual rort with amendments to the Fair Work Act. Some workers think, some workers think that was done to protect the CFMEU and its role in the permanent casual rort. Your government has done its best to hide this issue, despite support I've received from senators such as Senator Sheldon and Senator Stirl. Why should government, why should workers rely on governments, on Labor governments in particular? Well, because we passed legislation called things like secure jobs and better pay that called secure things like? jobs and better pay. <laughs> what about state governments? Well, the, we're in the, federal, Palaszczuk, the Palaszczuk Miles. I mean, we're not going to get into state governments in a federal estimates hearing, are we? Seriously. The Palaszczuk Miles state government, this is very important for uh, accountability of, of unions, Minister, because I'm a very strong supporter of accountable unions. Sure. Indeed, the Palaszczuk Miles government is banning competitors to the Queensland Nurses and Midwives Union, such as the Nurses Professional Association of Queensland, banning competitors such as the, the the, the Teachers Professional Association of Queensland that competes with the Queensland Teachers Union. They're banning or trying to ban the Red Union, apparently in attempts to protect the Queensland Nurses Union and the Queensland Teachers Union donations to the Labor Party. Are you aware that that's what's going on in Queensland? We have got legitimate unions being banned by a state Labor government. Uh, I'm, look, I'm aware of the issue in broad terms. Um, but you've got a. Last I heard, you had a One Nation member of the state parliament. It sounds like a very good issue for him to raise in state estimates, and we can deal with federal estimates, federal issues here. The red unions, the, we are dealing with this issue. The red unions and the new Independent Workers Union of Australia charge around half. In fact, for the Independent Workers Union of Australia that's, <coughs> that's uh, vying for members with the Mining and Energy Union in the Hunter and Central Queensland, 
43 per cent of the labour-affiliated union fees because these unions, the Red Union, the Independent Workers Union of Australia, refuse to hand members money to political parties. Are you aware of that, Minister? Their fees are less than half. Uh, I, I'm certainly aware that um, there are a number of uh, LNP-backed groups who masquerade as unions uh, who have been created with a view to um, uh, undermine the legitimate unions that have been fighting for workers in Queensland for a long time. I know there's, I know there's a very strong. Where were they between... when the mandates came in and and and, well, and, and teachers and if we're going to get into COVID mandates. Job. There's a whole other committee that you've been dealing with that in issue for years. Yep, we'll continue to. Despite the Queensland legislation, are you aware that the red unions continue to grow rapidly among nursing and teaching professionals, with a membership now over 20,000 strong? expanding into New Zealand and into small business, and now it's expanding into coal mining. Are you aware of that? Uh, nope. Let's, go, let's turn to another group that's supposed to enlighten the group. It's, sorry, some of its members who are maybe enlightened are supposed to protect workers. That's the, the business owners. Mr Simon Turner, who's a mine worker, has informed me of the following. The company that owned and operated the mine he was employed at, employed at directed him to not report a serious safety incident in which he was critically injured. They failed to, that's a statutory breach. They failed to report accident, statutory breach. They made him come to work while injured. injured. They sacked him while injured. They, failed, they falsely changed his on-site digital record. They failed to provide correct workers' compensation, a statutory breach of Commonwealth law. Sorry, state law. They failed to take correct coal miners' insurance policy, statutory breach. They failed to provide accident pay, statutory breach. And so on it goes. They failed to comply with the New South Wales Mines Health and Safety Act and New South Wales Health and Safety Act. That company is BHP the world's largest mining company. Workers cannot rely on globalist corporations, Minister, especially corporations from labour hire, globalist labour hire companies that do deals with the CFMEU, the Mining and Energy Union. Where can workers turn? Uh, look, I, that question is that just that we are close on 11, but you may have a follow-up question, Senator Roberts, but um, if the Minister could answer. Thank you. Uh, I think you know we've all we've all known for a number of years now, Senator Roberts, that um, you've got a close relationship with Mr. Turner. He's obviously taken his complaint to you. He's obviously very unhappy with um, the union that he is or was a member of. I, I don't know the circumstances of that. It's pretty pointless for me to speculate. Okay, Minister, that leaves one avenue left to protect workers: comprehensive industrial relations reform to simplify industrial relations law so the workers and small businesses can see their entitlements, protections, rights and responsibilities, not buried in 1,800 pages of complex law. Why won't Labor give workers choice? About and what? You're protecting entrenched unions that are abusing the industrial relations system because they're members of the IR club. You're protecting corporate employers. You're protecting labour hire companies. Why won't you give workers choice to become members of the union that they choose. Well, I don't agree with any of the propositions you just put. Thank you, Chair. Good. Uh, thanks, um, Senator Roberts.